Hello my dear friends, Natalia with you. Um, after video, unboxing video that we have yesterday, I did this kitten unboxing and I did not figure out the video how to put these wooden pieces together. So actually after video, I look on a website and then it's really simple. It's actually like I was doing, but I didn't force enough. So it kind of, I didn't do all the way to the end. So this little edges in here, when you grab like this, right, this pieces, this part go up. So you put this piece inside of this one, like so. So you just crisscross. And on a video, I just afraid to force it. I didn't want it to break, but it's go actually very easy, just like this and you have a stand for your wooden piece which is you have bigger part and you have a smaller part <clears throat> so uh, because our kitten has this kind of edges cut not as straight so this way probably will be kind of crank it up and fall so for my kitten the smaller part will be better for the stand as you can see, we have two choices for this one or this one. So if your wood piece bigger, let's just flip upside down kitten. And you can see the bigger piece fit perfectly nice if you have different ornament with the flat uh, bigger bottom. So this is awesome. It's, it's so easy to assemble. And I want to tell you that <clears throat> after I did my unboxing video, a company emailed me and said because the website is on US side so they let me know for my Canadian people who wants to order they have an Amazon store uh, and they give me a link to Amazon for Canadian people so I guess that was a Canadian Amazon or maybe from Amazon you can buy everybody from any country I'm not sure check it out the link I will link it up for you under the video so what we are gonna do now the most important thing and I'm really afraid to do this on camera but we have to put the sticker glue over our wood piece uh, and this is double sided glue so I'm gonna place the clear part down and this is usually go on the top so I will put this face me and let me bring you maybe a little bit close to the table and let's try it. Okay, my tweezers. Okay, I don't know which way should I start from the bottom or from the side. Maybe I should measure first this like a I don't know or maybe whole thing at the same time guys I don't know let's try a little by little I'm gonna peel one side in here if I can okay I put up some fight in here so obviously I have to peel this glue you will know because it's exactly uh, match your pattern on the wooden board so if you happen to be like I did I, when I when you pull your piece of paper and coming out from the glue with the glue uh, just try from another side so it's come out nicely so it's actually peel easier from the kittens here so I guess that's how I gonna start from this side to glue and hopefully we will get this nice and straight so I'm gonna peel it kind of halfway like this and then here see what this is what I do I will have to really uh, look oh boy okay I have to stand up so I can see better because it need to be straight 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 at least to start Okay, I hope, I hope that's what it is. And I 
looks okay so far. I'm just gonna do slowly there. Make sure I don't have any bubbles. I think we did okay. They are absolutely flat. You can even use the back. I'm gonna use white tray. So I'm just gonna even smudge, smudge like this with my tray to make sure it's thick really good. But I can feel it's already good. So now we're gonna peel this side. And here you go. When we peel, we have already our glue you can see it's shiny it sticks perfect to this wood so i'm gonna peel a little bit by little bit and i'm gonna pick uh, here is our symbols and i see here it looks like a moon so that's number two three ten okay so that's a black one we're gonna start with black one. Good thing they do have a, a DMC codes, which is awesome. So looks like we're gonna outline our kitty cat all the way around and uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna outline his body and it's gonna be on his eyes and nose. So let's start draw together a little bit. I'm gonna put this beads on my tray i'm gonna put them all i'm sure we're gonna have lots of left but just for curiosity i'm gonna pour them all on my tray we're gonna shake them up and see the quality of it and here is what we have let me Get some light a little bit in here. As you can see, they are super awesome sides. The way they uh, polish them, those grids are sparkle, sparkle. Uh, so, which pen should I use today? I'm just gonna use my pen that I'm using all the time for now. Scream of Summer <laughs> Watermelon Okay, so let's start To create this gorgeousness and of course I'm gonna bring you even more close to me And we will start our design so please check it out their website uh, and Amazon Some of the link uh, they provided to me will be affiliated, uh, but it's not going to affect your pocket at all. So you don't have to worry because you buy and you think they will charge you more money. No, that's not the way it's work. So I will do appreciate if you purchase from my link. I will get small commission as a provider of this link and thank you company for providing me this link there's so many of their awesome wooden designs like this that I think you will love it it's not just the Christmas ornaments and I hope I was in my camera view Let me see if I can bring you more close to me. Oh, I guess not. Ay ay. Okay. Oh, it's out of the focus still. No, I think this is it. That's the best I can do, guys. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna use here multiplacer. We're gonna work only with one bead at a time 
because this glue is really really grubby so you have to make sure you work nice and precise you place your drills right where you need them because I believe let me try it yes it would be hard to move drill that, that that's why this glue is really good okay let's do from the top so I'm not gonna do on a brush I will do nice slow to make sure my lines as much as possible straight and if you remember my tutorials I'm going into my left bottom corner to put my every bead if I do with my one placer that way it's always going to be same distance between beads but if I remember right you are not gonna have any gaps in here it looks like these pieces go perfect into the squares and let's hope we're not gonna have any pop and drills either so but as you saw my uh, wooden project of the telephone both they do line up really nicely and super super sparkle my voice sounds harsh but I'm not sick guys I guess that just a morning didn't have enough talk to anybody a little bit chat with kids in the morning but before they go to school we have a good amount of snow fall out yesterday and sitting next to us didn't have barely any so yesterday my little girl had a volleyball tournament for her school we went to different school different city travel we left our house with green grass we come back it was deep snow oh my goodness weather changes so fast and we created first eye I can see you now Mau. okay let me turn this way face kitten to you and I'm gonna when I do this way upside down then I can't see my left bottom corner as I was doing because now like you see better that side but I'm hoping for the camera is still gonna do straight and of course we will create this ornament in this video from beginning to the end okay I have to push a little bit by working on this kind of project that it has a very strong glue try first to place very lightly and then push bead just for in case you didn't place straight so you can still have a little bit chance to move otherwise you need to grab the tweezers and pull it out so I'm kind of place if I'm happy then I press a little bit there now I, I enjoy creating wooden pieces like that it's actually fun and I like the they have uh, options that you can put them as a decorative piece on the table with the little stand maybe you have a beautiful place um, to display 
you have a few of them if you are animal lover uh, maybe you have a kitty cats at home and you like to have a kittens if I could I would get them all they are fun Okay, uh, do we have enough light, guys? I'm just gonna bring my light maybe even close to me. Okay, so I'm gonna peel a little bit more. By well, we're still gonna do here his nose and another eye. There. Thank you all so much for your comments on my video yesterday. I will go today or tomorrow and see um, if you have any questions so I can answer and reply to your comments. I think I did maybe just a few hours popping on my cell phone but usually I do my commenting on my computer. It's more comfortable and faster. Look how equal those drills look like. They are very precise, same size. And they are the shiniest beads. Very sparkle, if I can flash it like that. Okay, now I'm looking in here. I wonder if this is symbol or I got an air. Let me check. Can see my maybe sneak a little bit piece of air. I don't know. Let me just. Check one more time. I don't see. No. Okay, I don't see any more. So I think that was a little bit bubble of air, but when you push it from ins inside of the design to outside, most likely you will have a chance to push the air bubble away. Or just poke a little hole with the needle and the air bubble will be gone. And just repress it with the paper, like put this uh, back in paper back and push again. That's the best way to get the air bubble out. Oh, I lost this bead before I placed it. Hold on. Let me try to pull that out. See how, see how strong already stuck? I have to get the corner. That's why I'm talking about if you place it, it will stay so strong. You don't need any sealant to um, secure your beads on this kind of projects. Uh, for those who think this is a long video and too much of the drilling uh, like together, uh, my response will be because lots of my viewers don't like me speed up video and that's why we do step by step all life. Okay, I think I'm just gonna peel this paper away. I don't really need it. This is a little project and we will finish. 
So yes, that's why we're gonna do slowly, little by little, with no speeding process. And if video too long for somebody, you can just uh, speed up and see the finished project on the end if you wish. But of course, I would love you to stay with me and watch the whole process. I'm really enjoying working right now on it. And if I talk not as loud, it's because I'm trying to concentrate so I don't mistake and place not straight. Okay. Lovely outline kitten. You can start from the center of the kitten just for in case if you're not sure if you're gonna have like too tight beads later and you're worried they're not gonna fit. Uh, you can always start from center and go out. Uh, that way if beads go a little bit over to the edge that's okay. But I'm just, I'm sure that you're not going to have any problems. Because I see how beautiful those beads line up in those squares. And we shouldn't have any even gaps. They printed this image really nicely. And I like that sticky paper was cut exact shape. That's nice. Of course, it would be nicer maybe if they would place a sticky sheet already on a canvas for somebody who don't like to do that and maybe don't have steady hand to place glue on it. But if you don't, just ask somebody to help you because you know not not everybody could be good with hands and if you have a hands problem, maybe a little bit shaky hands. Uh, you just ask somebody, family member or your friend to do it for you. of the side in here and his tail. I just want to see first color how many beads we will have left from this project because some of these beads have like where is it? Or a little bit of the drills, but I'm sure we don't need much them because kitty cat mostly orange color. And by the way, when I look my link, what I order, I actually. Uh, order bunny. There was a bunny up there. My my girl like bunnies. But I've received kitty cat, which I don't mind either. But the uh, thing that I ordered was bunny. <laughs> but because we have a kitty and our family, but our kitty black, if I would want it, I, w I could just change his uh, to the black kitten, but it's okay, we're gonna have a Garfield, I already named this cat. My husband like brown cats, 
and I like black or pure white a Persian fluffy cat with blue eyes so this is brown kitten So interesting symbols in here. You see, they have a uh, cherries, and here is funny. They have a um, where 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 is that? Um, where, oh, like neck shape the cactuses. You see the shape of the cactuses. It's cute. A little bit left. What's awesome that there's a zero excess glue uh, sticking out from this area where um, symbols. So that's really big plus because when we drill this, you're not gonna have uh, any glue around to catch dust if you decide to just to display this kitten on your desk. And that's really good. I like this. There is like, you, you can tell there is no glue sticking out besides those symbols. That's awesome. Okay, great. Since my camera stopped recording, we are already in 23 minutes. Uh, I finished tail by myself a little bit. So now we did outline our kitten and here is how many drills we have left. So. From being so little in the first place, uh, we can say that this is good amount of drills that left from our first color. And I'm gonna change. Some stubborn, don't wanna go on a baggy. Okay, so we're gonna go now and we're gonna create. I think we should create his nose, his eyes, and this little tail in here so that will be our color that would be cherry 5 7 12 and that's this little little thing of beads we're gonna make his face okay so here's the old drills we have for this color okay let's get a little bit more close I'm gonna place first on his tail here. We have only four in here. Oh God, you can't believe it. How fun this is. It's so much fun to create on the wooden pieces. I didn't think before that was like a great idea, but oh boy, I love it. Okay, here's his eyes. Yay. Let's make him see the world. I'm just going to make sure I push this bit. There. Look how those beads snuggle with each other. No gaps at all. And the super sparkle. Mm, I love it. Okay, let's get his nose down here. And some colors, there is a, a lot of the same shade. For example, it's going to be this brown. Uh, I will kind of stop video and do a little bit by myself because 
uh, even project to Lilo but if I'm gonna record absolutely everything it could be too long video and I don't know if you wanna watch that long video you know how usually light beads create gaps well I don't think you will have a gaps in this example they looks like snuggle nicely in here just want to make sure they are perfectly square more here two and I think I think this is it if I place them straight uh, let me just check so we needed yeah on his eyes nose and tail so that's it for this color and here's the beast that left so we are doing great let's change the color quickly yeah, that's cool. So, as you can see, we're not going to have any shortage in here. Uh, and now I'm going to do this pink one. We're going to go on his ears and on the cheeks. And that is 224. 224, this beautiful pink color. Here it is our beads. So his cheeks, let's create his cheeks. It's right in here. The symbol 224, right? 224. It's his, um, it's like a clover leaf. Okay, I believe it's only, yes, only four beads. Oh, sorry if I run after focus. And this side, four beads. There, and now we're going to create his ears, and I'm going to keep this facing you. We're gonna snuggle those drills in it. Oh my god, they are go like a puzzle. You see how nice? So if you didn't try any of this wooden pieces, I, I would strongly recommend to try at least one you will fall in love so as your kids it's a cute project it's even nice if you have a birthday party you can buy a whole bunch of this little project yeah they are not very cheap because it is it's a great uh, job done to be carve this on a wood um, but it this would be awesome gift uh, for kids for the uh, birthdays parties to even like drill all together to have fun at the party or give it as a complimentary gift for each kid to take it home
and it's going to be very very fast Okay, this color I'm gonna finish now with you and then I'm gonna start by myself a little bit uh, on those brown colors well we can start a little bit together just so you can see the color and quality of the drills and because it's the most like um, more color of it because it's the skin of the kitty cat so I will not gonna board you out which some of you like long videos thank you for that I like watch long videos too because usually that's when it's a good company to craft with listen people chat and look at this I think we are done look how adorable and look those beads look how snuggle oh my god they are so awesome um let's see something the trick the trick for the sparkles trick for the sparkles hold on where is it okay see with the flashlight those gems are playing oh boy can't wait to finish the whole thing and here it is another color and we have lots of beads left so i'm gonna put now this away and we're gonna quickly there you go that's a good review to have a lots of bits left over and now i'm just gonna put this we're gonna have only two left darker and a little bit brighter color so this is go as a shading around here as you can see a little bit shades of brown but i'm gonna start with this main color just to show you quality of the beads on a tray let me just pour them right now I'm gonna pour the whole package and where do I have here just a minute oh okay uh, from the back they do got a little bit static so I'm just gonna put dryer sheet wrap them like this on the top to give it of static and we are good to go let me show you there look at those bits one to one gorgeous you see that that's beautiful so let's place a few just a few beads and we have, that's a 437 437 we're gonna do on the stars simple with the stars let's create his tail this is such a fast project to be honest I can do this like all day long this is fun I wish I would have more of this because this is totally fun to do I do lots of cross stitching these days as well will give you update on my cross stitching and also I wait few more packages for you to review from different companies stay tuned for that one package was shipped with FedEx so that shouldn't take too long the other one will travel all the way from China so that could be a little longer there 
officially well no not officially he don't have a tail yet <laughs> okay so I will create him almost the whole thing and we're gonna finish with the shades this one and then I'm gonna show you the whole kitten all together uh, unless I don't know if you wanna stay a little bit longer I don't know guys if you think this video will be too long you can just rewind I'm just having a right now way too much fun So I guess I'm just gonna drill and I hope you're still here. Also I would love to say thank you to all new subscribers these days who subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I keep checking my status and there's a everyday new people. I do appreciate. I do own the best group on Facebook which is diamond painting for all ages we are such amazing friendly group you can share with your projects uh, if you have some questions as a beginner there's a, everyone up there can help you somebody always will uh, get into your question and help you we don't have any spams or angry people on our group our group are really really super friendly and I'm so proud of everyone so many beautiful projects we share up there so please join the link is under the video as well and uh, if you do have a Instagram I have Instagram um, I do have a three Instagrams but for the craft Instagram uh, it's the same name lovecraft forever XO the only difference it's XO on the end come join me up there usually on Instagram I post pictures or some updates a little bit faster than on YouTube if you wanna have first scoop of some news usually I give some peekaboo preview up there and then you know what is going on. I did create an account on TikTok. And I think I posted only two videos. I still can't get used to, it, to that stuff. But it is kind of fun. I share, of course, uh, my crafty side up there. I don't do any of those goofy videos. As other people do uh, I just posted up their diamond paintings I believe my account is as Natalia Simpson on a TikTok I don't know how many of you have that app Mm, how pretty it's gorgeous look how even those beads I love this pink color it's so beautiful okay let me create a little bit by myself and then I will be right back I was drilling here by myself and decided to actually create checkerboard and uh, why not to let you snap these drills together with you because now it's fun part to fill in all those drills that now we're gonna have some snap sounds and that's always fun to have Boom. And the way they snap, they also kind of stretching and pushing beads together. Okay, I have a little bit loose on my wax in here. Uh, so at the same time, you will kind of straighten them at the same time by while they sneak in inside and pushing 
each other to the sides. So let's do this part together. And it's going to be only left one shade color to do. I love to work on 3D projects as I have the uh, box that I have, the LED lights, they always fun to have work, but the other one was created on plastic. But this is wood and it's, it's awesome because um, the other my 3D project, the glue, obviously it's everywhere, excess of glue. And what's good about this wooden one that is only precisely placed on the symbols. And that's what we need. That's what we want. And hopefully I can edit and post this video today as it's 12-12. 12th of December so you can see finished project as soon as possible as I promised just for in case if you want to order and I think you still have a time to receive them before Christmas and if you order from Amazon usually Amazon ship fast I don't know how long it's going to take it from US the website, but you can always email to company and ask how fast that would be if you still have time to order before Christmas. That's a cute gift. See how fast now because now I don't really pay attention uh, how to place because uh, I was doing more slowly by placing my first sets of checkerboard drills. Now you just kind of snap it on the inside without even thinking because you can't make a mistake now. They just go perfect on the squares where you need them. And I missed the bead there. Almost done. Here the snips where they go like a puzzle into okay, let me turn this my way so I can check and not to miss any of the symbols. I think let's check together I think I'm done all the stars in here all is left right now is the shading around so let me switch color and 
you are ready we're gonna go on our last color that's all beads that we have for this color and we're gonna place first and here too dark and just go around to create the shade of kitty cat face and the ways we place now the other beads get pushed more tight to each other and that's what create as less as possible of the gap and you see how when I place my beads the other beads get pushed and it's basically almost no gaps at all little very little tiny tiny gap and that's barely visible it's more visible for you on camera because you zoomed are so close but it's like almost nothing you still can uh, tidy them a little bit push to each other This is actually the first time I see damaged bead right in here with the little bit of hole uh, on the corner. So this is first bead from all of this. So that's not bad at all. Only receiving one bad bead and we don't need to worry about this because we're still going to have lots of beads left over but just uh, it tells you how um, good quality these beads are as from all the bunch we have only one that wasn't as perfect there see now I place these beads and these beads push a little bit to get less gaps but I say when you have uh, this little ornament like this you can start from the center row out and that way you're not going to have any uh, gaps because you will put close to each other each bead and just go that way but it doesn't really bother me this few little spaces we are so close we are so close to finish here I'm super excited to put this on the stand. Okay, three bead on his cheeks, and then we are so finishing together. Tada. that's it we all done we all done and we still have a beads left so this is was fun lots of fun let me zoom out camera a little bit so we can see better our kitten isn't she gorgeous well I assume it's she because she has a pink ears it looks like a girl to me with the blush and here is the full review we have absolutely every color drills left that probably would be enough for another kitten well not exactly but it is lots that's good for a little project like this and now uh, a little bit later i don't have a roller with me right now but i will gonna roll beads one more time just make sure they all pressed really tight to this base now we have here our magnet we have here our string let me get it and I already tied a knot on it so we're gonna put everything in here and then you can decide 
how you want to be so I have my knot in here and I'm just gonna pull this like this through this loop and we can put this right away on our Christmas tree maybe somewhere on a nail on your wall uh, also we're gonna place a sticker here just for in case this magnet just for in case my kids want to have this place on the fridge so I'm gonna place right in the middle maybe I'm gonna leave this wood sign in here it's okay that's pretty carved there so we have two ways now and then we're gonna place this kitten on our stand and it's okay now on a bigger stand I already talked to you about this on a wooden stand on a bigger side he will stay much better here it is and here is how this look like let me show you a little bit better view but I mean I absolutely love this just a minute and here he is happy kittens look how adorable he stays on his stand on my desk and let's look around oh look at the sparkles coming oh yes now we talking oh my goodness look at that isn't it awesome those beads are gorgeous and here it is how the stand work as you can see from behind you can use both sides if you have a smaller ornament or bigger ornament depends on which one you want to put kitten and in this example I put on a wider side but the sparkles are amazing and he's so cute and here's the all the drills that left from our project that's always a really good news and let me just get close this kit and put a little bit flat so you can see uh, just a minute I'm using it right now also my flashlight so we can appreciate of all the sparkle that is going on look how beautiful he is so if you want him to be on your wall or decorative like in a Christmas tree you can put him on a wall and he's gonna be so cute it's just the way I place the magnet I guess not center it so he's gonna crank it up a little bit I have to replace it so it's straight but then we can place him on a fridge and he's adorable he's absolutely adorable here's without any lights look how those gems are sparkle it's beautiful so I think I am super super happy with this project he's gorgeous so here we go let's put him back where he belong on the stand and there it is so check it out Wizard D website Amazon and maybe you will find something interesting for yourself to receive before Christmas I'm sure they there's as many days yet I think you will receive this before Christmas but just for in case check with the seller and they will let you know for sure on this note I will say thank you have a beautiful wonderful day now